right? I am a member of the founder of the Norwegian Society. There's another, Antes from Norway, and he sits over there, Antes Kinset. He started doing philosophical practice in 90 or 91, I think. And he has been doing it ever since, now he's a professor. So he's the first in Norway. Then in 97, a group of philosophers joined to, to start training to be philosophical counselors. In 1998, we Going as a society, the Norwegian Society for Philosophical Practice, which actually had a 10 year jubilee this spring, so we are very happy. And we celebrated the 10 years jubilee and we chose a new leader, chairman, and she's a woman for the first time in 10 years. So, if you introduce that up, you are the president of the Norwegian Society. <laughs> so, two victories, 10 years jubilee, no fragmentation, just one society. And female leader, that's good. Uh, so, what goes on in Norway besides that? Uh, well, I sent some mails out. I got answers from some philosophers. I forgot to send a mail to some. So, this is just a shortcut, a medium representation of what some of them are doing. Tron, he is doing counseling with couples together with his wife. Uh, he's doing some kind of dialogue series, 10 and 20 dialogues with the same people over a year or so, that's exciting. Uh, he's doing uh, philosophical teaching with uh, young people uh, who is going to be coming, what is that? Com confident, com going into a uh, humanistic confirmation. He's doing courses for them. Sisa, she's doing philosophy for children. She's doing philosophical cafe and philosophy for elderly people at senior institutions. Uh, she's also lecturing in Christian mystics. And she has some lectures for business people. And uh, Rogan is doing a long steady series of philosophical cafes. He's on the eighth year now in the same institution. And he also, also does some kind of dialogues in his work at the social security system in Norway called Now. Pia is doing teaching. She is doing philosophy for elders again. And she also do philosophy courses for uh, the training of managers in the business life. And she do different kind of philosophical projects. Hoko, he does teach philosophy at the children's school. He's writing a book, he's doing his private dialogues. He's lecturing in philosophy. Uh, he's doing courses for inmates who don't belong in prison, but they get sentenced to sort of a kind of society management, doing society work, beneficial work, and he trains them using philosophy. Really? He's just working with a uh, conversational group for inmates in prisons for women. Uh, she's doing, also has a philosophical practice. Hawkon has that philosophical practice, but he has it. Tron, Ares, Isen, Roger, they all have practices also doing uh, philosophical counseling with individuals. And that's why I'm not just actually hired full time as a philosopher in a prison in Bagan, the next largest city in Norway. We actually also do philosophical counseling on the individual level and in courses. And then there's me. I, no, I do a lot of philosophical affairs. I have my philosophical practice, it's nearly 10 years old. The society has a two-year training course to become a philosophical practitioner for individuals to do philosophical counseling, philosophical practice. We have now licensed, so to speak, about 35 philosophers, I think. So we have about 35, 40 members of the Norwegian society. Uh, and we continue to give courses, and sometimes we gain 